Today's concept of subtracting on a number line is fairly simple. Taking a standard number line, you will draw an arrow to the minuend in one color and then subtract the subtrahend to find the difference. Let's take a look at a few examples and I think you'll find how easy this work is for today. Let's start with a very easy example, something that we actually know the answer to just off the top of our head. But for practice purposes, let's subtract 3 from 5. I would recommend that you have a few colored pencils to help you with the concept. The publishers suggest starting at zero and drawing an arrow to the menu end. And in this case, the menu end is five. This next step is to subtract the subtrahend. And in this case, it is three. We're subtracting three from five. So we move backwards one, two, three spaces. We find that we're at the number two. So five minus three is two. And that's one example of how we use a number line for subtracting. This time, let's try an example with slightly higher numbers. We will subtract eight from 14. So again, we start at zero and we move to the menu end, which is 14. And now we must subtract the subtrahend, which is eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We find that the difference of 14 minus eight is six. So again, I su suggest you use two different colored pencils in order to show your work of subtracting numbers on a number line. So to review, it's always helpful to have a variety of colored pencils to help show your work clearly. Remember it's important to start at zero and then move to the menu end with your first arrow. Next, subtract the subtrahend going backwards or towards zero. In this way, you'll find the difference for the equation. Good job and continue working hard in learning basic math concepts.